So then Steve, when last we time last time time. off was, if I recall correctly, you essentially just took uh, your uh, bar the bartender on a trip to the amusement park as you had tortured people for a couple other days. As, and, and then you went into uh, the forest to investigate the stuff there uh, for the sea rank quest as, and figured out that there was more to it than meets the eye. So, yeah. where do you go now? Well, we just we just delivered more information on, on the on what on what was going on. They yeah. mentioned the receptionist mentioned something around Nightwalker being around that area. Yeah. Uh, can I roll Arcana to see what Wire knows about Nightwalkers? Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So let me get up the uh, Nightwalker. So you know that they're from the uh, Plane of Shadow. Oh, oh, or at least you've heard about them being, like, from that negative plane, and, and, they sometimes appear, uh, in place of people that they have brought into the negative pla plane, and, and if you defeat one that has actually brought somebody into the plane they are permanently onto the shadow failed uh, until they can find a way off particularly uh, by something like uh, for example a plane ship So, what do you do with that information? So they, and she, and the receptionist said that there was one spot in that that was dealt with. Yes. Well, I was going to ask. Uh, so, um, if it's available for for information, uh, who dealt with it? Was it killed? Do we find out who summoned it here or anything like that? There's no knowledge on a summoning. And the person wished to be anonymous, so I will not be able to tell you at all. Okay. What a rank would a Nightwalker be for monsters? Uh, a Nightwalker uh, would be among the rank S people. Right. Is there any way a Nightwalker can corrupt the area that it's in when it touches with our our world? Or could it have brought a friend over? Um, what are you trying to get at? All I know is that there that. All right, so I have a little, I have a few extra gifts I've received from a patron and one of them allows me to whenever I touch something I can get a, a vision of things from its past like touching a key I can see the door that it goes to touching a door I see where the key's at and I pull up the paper and the arrow and I say when I touch the the note in this arrow I get a picture of a bean cloaked in shadow and it was firing these arrows at us to leave. So I'm wondering if there's something with the Shadowfell. Someone might be trying to open a portal, or somebody has opened a portal and there is something out there. Hmm. I, I'm a little concerned. Well, if something has opened a portal, uh, I'm pretty sure that person would have dealt with it. Uh, so if it was somebody, uh, that could hide from that S rank, that would probably be a very powerful individual. 
I would say a, a Dark Lord, but uh, I assume that you've researched that to know that that's not exactly possible. Arcana knowledge for Dark Lord. Go ahead. Oh, all right. <laughs> no, sorry. I thought you are. I thought you didn't roll that yet. Uh, so you know that Dark oh. Lords definitely originate in the Shadow Feld, uh, and they are particularly trapped there. Uh, so they have varying powers, but. Uh, you really don't want to go to the realm if you can avoid it. I mean, yeah, I know what Dark Lord is. Uh, could one of them be trying to have a servant over here? I'll say this. It might be a good idea to have the guild post for someone who's S-Class to investigate that area. Because well. okay, if... If they, if a Dark Lord has a servant in our realm and has, it is trying to open up a portal, I mean, it'd be a pretty good plan to open the portal near the capital and in a forest that's near the capital and just amass the army and, and run at us at a, by surprise. Well, the Esfring egg that actually went there I'm pretty sure that they checked around and so I'm pretty sure there's no portal there or unless somebody recently opened up the portal with the information of whether or not this S-Class uh, adventurer used a rapier be uh, available uh, I will be able to tell you that the S-Class did not really use a rapier. There's something out there used a rapier to cut down trees. And really hoping that you would say it was the adventure. <laughs> well, from what I know, the adventure really would not have dealt with the trees. Is so, if a lot of trees were cut down, it probably was not them. Uh, I was hoping that was just collateral damage. <sighs> I would just say that this, this might need somebody... I mean, whatever the shadow creature that ran us off was, it was just playing with us. Hmm. As you see on the notes, it's just... It just wanted us to leave. Then I definitely would so, not... So, something... Then I would definitely say it was not a Dark Lord, as... As... From what I have at least heard... A lot of them typically will try to kill anybody around. So... So I'm saying maybe it could be in a scout or something that's stopping us from doing things. Well, it opens up the portal. It just, it, I'm thinking it warrants further investigation by somebody who's more powerful. Alright, I'll see what the guild master uh, wants. Thank you. That is all I asked. See if he will send somebody. It just, I have a, I have a, I have a feeling that this that whatever's out there is not done for what it's doing. Mm. Good day. You too. Um, and Wyron will go ahead and leave. Alright. So where does Wyron leave to? Ugh. Shit. <laughs> Like I said, he could go go off and and try to go and woo that girl or continue to woo it or her or at least attempt to continue. Yeah. It's been about a week though, right? Um 
since uh, uh, Connor got trained up and everything, and they've been out like doing some stuff. Yeah, but you also received. I'm pretty sure that I said that you received a message that said that they would probably be about about 21 days. 21 days. Okay. So Connor's still out. Of, yeah, because yeah. I'm trying to get like a time when I can get get to talk to Connor and like get the information like about what happened with the king and like how he heard the story of how uh, Ma accidentally got the got a uh, crow's friend killed. Oh, he knows that already. Oh, he does. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm gonna have to get a uh, try. I'm gonna try and get with Connor when he gets back, so I can uh, talk with him about that and get that story. I honestly feel bad for Connor, though. You'll see what happens when he comes back. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm trying to get that story, so that way Wyron knows that story and can pass it on to everybody, because otherwise Wyron can't do shit with that. <laughs> yeah. Because um, you don't know what, it, what the story is, but everybody else does not. Yeah. Uh, so, so Wyron is going to go to the bar. Well, actually, would I know if she's working right now or not? Uh, well, it would more be like depending on the time of day. A lot of times. Uh, well, we, oh, it's me the same day. We the... I forget if it, this is the Sunday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. The, uh, it it would be the Sunday. Then, yeah, she would be off to the, that night. Yeah. Because she did say, and... state that you would actually, well, for it to prefer uh, Saturday opposed to Sunday. But she was off both of those days. Yeah. Yeah. And... Yeah, and we have and Wretched has his little uh we we stop by Dionysus Temple and uh Ooh. Don't wanna do that without Wretched though. Well to be fair, we could actually just go and kinda of gloss over it for it for the most part and then fully address it. Go back guys, to it, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're going to completely say Byron goes with Wretched that night to go to Dionysus Temple to, you know, see how that goes. Okay, great. You see the bartender there, too? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wired goes over to Sora. <laughs> okay, then, what do you say to Sora? I was like, what does Wired say to Sora? So you're a worshiper of Dionysus. Yes. Uh, and I take it you are as well. I believe in my main worship is to Mishra, my my lady, but there's no rules saying you cannot worship multiple gods. And I do like to study the religions of others, and I've never actually seen anything of Dionysus. <laughs> so, is why would actually lie with this? He's not lying. He actually is open to other gods. Right. He's incredibly tolerant. Fair enough. He, 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 it's actually one of his things that's listed for him. He's incredibly tolerant of uh, other people's religions. He doesn't want to force anything to, on anybody. And yeah, he studied other people's religions. Uh, the only ones that he will not, like, he doesn't really want to know about are, like, the evil religions because it's just, while he understands people that like them and participate in them, he will not. He will not stoop to that level, or like human sacrifices or anything like that. But to be fair, you he can won't... also be intolerant and of other faiths if you yeah. want to. Yeah, I'm. I'm tolerant of like the good face. Not so tolerant of the of the other ones. Yeah. Okay, so they're, you, they're uh, tolerate the good. Uh, uh, absolutely condemn. Um, the evil. Most evil ones, yes. There's like, 
Wyrin has a healthy respect for Osmodeus worshippers because they're not and those that are lawful evil, he understands. And he'll, he 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 was he's more tolerant of them. What would be funny is because, that uh, yeah. MA a was actually a chaotic evil god. <laughs> if he's a chaotic evil god, then yeah, Wyron probably has some problems with them, but don't think he's despite the fact of how he is. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. No, uh, but he explains that uh, they are wandering around in search of temples that might have a uh, teleportation circle, so that uh, he can teleport back and forth from between here and Dunwich, uh, where his family lives. Then they realize that he has that I have that he realizes I have a car, and it only takes about three hours to drive to Dunwich and three hours to drive back. Uh, to be fair, so, he's not driven to Dunwich, so you would not know that. They, let's see, pretty sure that it takes a shorter time to drive and come back than it would to walk, so... There you go. Uh, uh and plus it was about three hours definitely. from, like, the other city. So, like, where you yeah. guys actually originated in, with, uh, which I believe is, like, Fourth Crawl or something like that. I guess Fourth Crawl is, oh, it's three hours to there, so it's even, like, less to get to to Dunwich. Yeah, like, it's three so, yeah. hours from Fourth Crawl to Dunwich. So, oh. yeah, you guys are literally oh, yeah. on an island. <laughs> I'm not even joking, that's yeah. literally how you guys are. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what he says, like, yeah, so, since I have a car now, really isn't that big of a deal. So I can go see them, think about going to see them sometime next week. And, uh, Make sure to check in with my family. So, what would you like to teach me about Dionysus and his beliefs? The funny thing is, I actually did not plan any of that. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Putting you on the spot here. Uh. Uh. Alright then. Uh. Well, typically, uh. The uh, rituals are led by the priest. Uh, so, I would more recommend actually talk to one of them if you're looking for the rituals. I'm not so much interested in the ri in the ri in the rich rituals as what you get from the religion. Well. Uh, I'm a bartender, as you know, so, um, frankly, a uh, uh, parties in wine, and that is, for the most part, my cup of tea, uh, but, uh, the main thing that I like about, about it is the fact that, uh, unlike a couple others, uh, is it doesn't go and deny uh, my profession, but rather it encourages it. True. Bartender that, it, that worships Dionysus. Not able to turn down a drink. Well, uh, not able to turn down and drink without due cause, because obviously you're not going to willingly drink yes. a egg, something that's like a po that's poisoned, even if it is offered to you. True. Technically, alcohol is all poison. It's just a matter of imbibing too much. No, I mean like literally like yeah. A, yeah. something. For example, a paralysis potion is put into the drink yeah. drinking you know the paralysis potion is in there uh, never assume that you to do that well it is possible you could put it into like a a D, &D drink and nothing else and when somebody dr yeah. drinks it it will go and paralyze the, them to where they can't move oh yeah. and obviously a even a god of wine uh, is not going to be like okay you're after drink 
Who cares that there's a paralysis yeah. potion in there? Drink it. Yeah. You can't be paralyzed and possibly die. Yeah. Huh? I think my friend, uh, my friend just wants to follow her just for that reason. Of without due cause, he doesn't have to return out anybody's drinks. And yeah. something that encourages you to actually get get drunk all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's typically why a lot of people worship this god. <laughs> uh, so, anything else for the bartender? Uh, he'll actually ask her... Um, I know that a kid, that among a lot of Dragonborn, they have a skill or craft or something that they wish to perfect. Is there something that you that you strive to achieve? Mm. At some point, I would like to. Uh, open up my own tavern and I do here and there, there uh, make my own beer uh, or rather wine um, and like wine is frequently a for sale at the one that I work for which nuts me a little bit extra mo money uh, on a monthly basis when I actually sell it again to the tavern, um, but as of right now, I will not uh, have enough money uh, for a long while to do that. When you get your own tavern, would I be allowed to sing there? Uh, well, I would see no reason to deny somebody uh, wanting to sing. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, so long as they're not driving away business, at least. True. So, yeah. And then for the rest of the night, just Byron will uh, participate in whatever rituals goes on and stuff and hang out with Wretched and yeah we'll do that <laughs> yeah to be honest I actually kind of forgot about that that hence why I didn't plan a lot for that <laughs> yeah uh, so yeah you have to uh, Wretched Dian Wretched is going to be a follower of Dionysus now <laughs> yeah or at least uh, yeah, he follows I'll throw wire in like, there hey, minor worshipper <laughs> uh so that means that he also should check a drink, drink if he finds something, if he doesn't find anything, then it's like, bottoms up! Uh, the other funny thing would be, hi, he, he drops us with paralysis now. Because <laughs> he <laughs> uh, didn't notice that the drink. <laughs> he needs to, uh, yeah, he needs to get the tech poison. <laughs> I uh, don't think that that would actually be a... Technically, a paralytic is a poison. <laughs> so yeah, if it's mixed in with the wine, he like it has a ring of poison detection. You poison the wine. That is sacrilege. You must die. <laughs> All right. Well, Wire now has a has a has another goal. He's now going to uh, buy a bottle of her wine and taste it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, she's always been uh, a brewer. Uh, I believe she actually has proficiency in the brewer's tools. Oh, sorry, brewer supplies. But yeah. So yeah, Wyron is. When she's not at work, Warren is going to go uh, get to... Uh, he's going to go buy a bottle of her wine. The wine that Sora makes. <laughs> and try it. Alright. 
so Dude, how, how is it? She would actually he would actually be waiting about another like six days because he would have to wait until about like Saturday. Doesn't isn't it open like during the day when she's not there? Uh, it's mainly got... open in the nighttime. Hmm. Oh well, well then. But yeah, th there is po there are poisons that actually do go, uh, and paralyze people. Mainly yeah. the carry on crawler mucus, though. Oh. Maybe we should look at the guineas to that and put it on uh, some arrows. <laughs> Dear Fairy, Obi, how do you know about this poison now? <laughs> Let's go to a freaking apothecary or something to look for poisons. Um, so. What do you yeah, so, know about um, them? But. Eh. <laughs> I mean, yes, but Mara's not here right now. She's off on an adventure. Mara's been around and she's and he's known about poisons like that the entire time. True. I mean, I heck, even in Mimicry, she was just like, uh, okay, let me just be in this other room trying to uh, get poison that can also affect a god. Uh, and then it's just like, okay, I got this to where it should affect a god. Here you go. Oh, drink it. Uh, and then just go ahead and ask him, uh, we'll ask that god any questions that she would have. Uh, uh, but, uh, no, uh, so Wyron at one point, uh, let's say on Monday, he actually goes to Dunwit. Okay. What is he he's doing? Gonna go see, he's gonna go see his mom. Alright then, so I'll move you over to that map. Uh, I think it was that one. Which I was surprised with you, because you really realize that she has access to the sending spell, right? In, in battle, with Amy, at any time, you could cast sending and have my mom, have Byron's mom just pop in. Alright, so you're not now there. I'll also move her to the other map because she's not technically there. So you spend about about well, it was about a three hour trip. But Trying to, to do the bath of time. <laughs> um. So like it, I definitely do know that it's like, uh, eight tiles for three hours or so. I'm just trying to figure out how much time would that actually take to be. But anyway, certain amount of time later, later you're over there in Dunwich. <laughs> So, yeah. where do you go now that you're in Dunwich? Right to the temple. See, Actually, to be fair, I might just call it a, an hour and see that was a four hour trip to Dunwich from Fourth Crawl. Just make it easier on myself. Yeah, well, yeah let's just do that because make the math a little bit easier. Yeah, so basically every tile is about a half hour one way. Uh, yeah. Opposed to being like, like, okay, so these eight tiles are three hours. There's. So, yeah. Yeah. Um. Um. So, what do you say to your uh, mother in the temple? Well, first, hello. Oh. It's good to see you. I give her a hug. She hugs you back and sa says, So how's your trip been? Been very interesting. And Wyro then proceed to update her on different things that they've done. Uh, tells her about uh, 
little escape they did through the sewers and how it was pretty dangerous. Um, she asks, why did you even go into the sewers? <laughs> I don't know. I'm an idiot ties mom, you know this. Thought that you might have your have some of the pal have the, some of the clerics try and stop me from leaving. To be fair, the one that uh, we took off of you, you uh, was not even stopping you from leaving. He was just there uh, to keep an eye on you and let let us know if there's something going wrong. Yeah, I. When I re-examined things, I realized this stuff, but it's not, uh, at the time, you know, I'm, I let my emotions get the better of me at some times. I found out that, uh, the, uh, one who attacked our temple, it's M.A. So, that little ninja guy. Yeah. His name is M.A. Well, Do you know who that is? Uh, well, that does explain why he keeps showing up here, then. He keeps showing up here? Yes, he showed up about the night when you arrived. Uh, he also warned us for whatever reason, saying that we were going to be attacked in, like, 16 days. Or, rather, about, yeah, about 16 days. Uh... So, for some reason, he is... I don't know if he's obsessing over my group or just me. Who really knows? Uh, we looked into it a little bit, bit, and... We figured out that nobody has any idea what the heck he does. Yeah, I know. It's like... It's really funny. And then, uh... Well, while I was in the, uh, I've been just uh, down the road in Scarlet Vale. Um, we decided to take a quest, and we went. Uh, it kind of, I forgot to register with the the guild registration, but I got in a little bit of trouble with that with somebody. But it, it's not really any consequence anymore. We decided to go after um, what I thought was just a young adult dragon. Turned out it was an adult dragon. We beat it pretty easy. Um, to be fair, I did state that that quest wasn't for an adult drag. Or at least I'm pretty sure I did. But, uh... And then while we were trying to get the horde, we found out that... Um, you remember the rogue, the drow rogue that was with us? Yes. Crow? Turns out she stole some gold from somebody that she really shouldn't have, and they sent some mercenaries after us. And we uh, wound up fighting with them, and getting knocked unconscious, and... Well, all the magical items from the loot was stolen, but we caught to keep all, most of the gold. To be fair, uh, I'm pretty sure that it was said that the step healing was, uh, was kept. Oh, we it's did just get that, uh, it's, it's just that it's in the cleric's hands. Mainly yeah, because nobody should... else would be able to use it as well as what she would. Yeah. Uh, except for, uh, we do have a staff of healing, which uh, is actually sentient. Um, and the, uh, you remember uh, my cl the cleric friend, uh, Mara, with the wings? She has that. Oh, I would like to go see thing. it at some point then. Yes, it's, 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 uh, I haven't actually got to speak with it, but uh, she says its name is Beth. At least that's what it goes by. She won't let me cast Identify on it, though, which is a little strange. She seems protective of it. Hmm. Very peculiar um, indeed. Hmm. She does have some peculiarities. But, uh... uh then we, uh... Then we, uh... Took the dragons, dragons back and processed them. Um... 
got in a bit of trouble because we, because technically a dragon is a B rank creature, we're D ranks, so we went above our station and killed it. But the higher ups of the guild decided not to, for whatever reason, heart, uh, press anything with us, so we are raised up to B rank. That's odd. Normally, when people break the rules, they don't go in and actually benefit from it. I know. I think it might have been M.A. I don't know. He seems to be pulling a lot of strings. But the right reason I bring up the dragon fight is during it, uh, there was a point um, I, I felt a, a strange power. And it didn't, f it felt like I don't know how to how to describe it. It just felt really extremely powerful. Before before I could do anything with it, I was knocked unconscious. Hmm. Um. I. Uh, if you feel it again, you might want to start focusing on it. That might uh, go go improve to be. Uh, uh, like possibly Mistra's blood uh, welling up inside of you. I was kind of wondering the same thing. I was wondering the journals that our ancestors kept. Could I take them with me? Um, I I know I've put over like them. That would uh, help you in your case, uh, but I don't mind if you transfer them to, uh, like some other book. Okay. Uh, it just, I want to, I know I've been over there a bunch of times already, but I was, I'm thinking maybe I missed something about how to, wouldn't it be cool if I could awaken some of the powers that go with the bloodline? Uh, well, there's no guarantee, uh, but it was a uh, Post to us, I think, be theoretically possible. I mean, our I know our bloodline's been diluted through the ages, well, through the years, but if I could possibly reawaken it, it'd be incredible. And all the while, White Wyatt has this kind of like a goofy grin on his face, like it's, it'd be so epic if he could do this. She also asks, and uh, might I ask, what are you up to with that? I mean, create your own, I could create my own spells, I could raise a mountain into the air and, uh, and build a city, I could build my, t build a tower and... I've always wanted a wizard tower. Um... <laughs> Um, Put my own teleportation circle in it, uh, and give you uh, give you the give you the sigil for it. You can all teleport up and up to visit at any time. I can come back here, visit more, visit easily. Just be, and I wouldn't have to deal with, deal with anybody. I could just stay in the sky. Read my read all the arcane books and study out all the bit of all the magic. With all that power, I could find lost artifacts and bring them back to the temple and hide them and well, make sure they're not they don't fall into the hands of the evil. Like in the all the old story. Basically, he's being a complete old geek and shit. <laughs> Well, that is a good thought, but I will state this, that a lot of times, gods are limited by their followers, as, and specifically, uh, they are limited to uh, being the only type, uh, outside of, from what I've heard, demigods. Uh, Nemecods are really the only ones that would actually 
be able to have multiple, for example, gods of magic. Uh, however, demigods would not really be too powerful. I mean, even if I was a, if, even if the power woke up and I gotta be a demigod, a demigod of magic, I'll take it. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I if I can even correct some of the bullshit crap that that one idiot who tried to steal her mantle did, and bring back some of the older, more powerful magic. Wait, what? When did the mantle get stolen? Uh, it's uh, what the the one idiot who did the twelfth level spell? Oh, he tried, he that tried to steal guy. It. Yeah, he to, yeah, that guy. He tried to take her mantle for a while and use it. Nope, that was a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, once he said 12th level spell, it's like, uh, okay, yep, the guy that became, that essentially used, uh, sorry, became a god of magic specifically. And they killed uh, some beasts literally because they were so used to eating magic consistently that the fact that there was no magic for a split second meant that they all starved. To death basically instantly and everything went completely off and yeah, and yeah. It just cut off like all the all the flying cities floated to the ground all enchantments everywhere disappeared it was like for like 10 minutes and that killed everything <laughs> yeah I thought it was for uh, half a second that it did I it was a minute or something like that I don't know but, but I was how long like, it got, what's what it was a half a second or so yeah. But yeah, yeah, and that idiot, yeah. But he's also the reason why nobody's allowed to cast anything above ninth level, unless Mistra agrees to it. And uh, the rules are actually that the first time they try and cast it, it fails automatically. Second time they cast it, Mistra will take into Mistra can agree to it or not, but the price will be 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 a lot be life force as well and shit like that. It's a really complicated system for magic at that level, but yeah. So, Wyron's like, if he can bring that back to where we can actually cast some of those spells, and, you know, even if it's just 10th level spells, 10th level spells were raising mountains and building cities and controlling some of the weather a little bit to, like, like a certain amount of space where you had peaceful weather instead of having storms and shit, or you can cause a storm in an area that's droughted and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, that's what basically Wyron was saying. Mm. But yeah, if if I can get and if I can re awaken the bloodline, I might be able to talk to her directly. And I mean, I've never. I mean, I've, when I was younger, I tried praying and praying and never really got a message. Gods behave in different things, as they're in different ways. It's... Still, we're. Uh... I mean, yeah, but if if I were to awaken the bloodline, maybe. I don't know. It's just, I've always kind of wanted to talk to her. Uh, well, there's no guarantee a eh, that it hasn't been just a one-way conversation with you to her. I mean. That's what the faith is for, to be to believe that she's hearing us, and I believe she could hear us. Just maybe she can't speak to us directly because of rules or something. But if I awaken the blood line, maybe I can actually hear her. I don't know, you know, just magical theory and stuff inside my head. How's dad been? And pretty much the same as usual. Uh, Still going up to the bar tonight? <laughs> yeah, I would not be surprised about him doing more performances there. I always yeah. did have fun. Been thinking actually about coming back and doing some training with him. Maybe actually getting the full training. 
I mean, to be fair, technically you do have time, it's just you don't have the technical level yet. don't have the level. I mean, technically I could get the training now, and then next time we level, just say I level into Bard. True. But yeah. Oh. So yeah. Um, Wire does not mention Sora to his mother. <laughs> I'm curious, why not? Um, he is uh his his fear is that his mom will ask to meet her. <laughs> and I uh, not be wrong by wire introducing a blue dragon board to his mother. Nothing but he's not yet ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> he will go find his dad. And he will talk to his dad about he'll update his dad on the on the things that have happened um then he'll ask his dad okay I need some advice so there's a bartender she's a dragon board blue scale and he'll lay out everything he knows about her he'll tell him about the dates he's went on how they went, and then he'll like okay. help me. <laughs> so you find him in uh, his room um, in the Church of Mistra. Uh, yes. You find your mother just like out in, and for the most part, the main part because she's a cleric, so she's obviously doing the cleric duties. Yeah. Uh, so, how exactly are you wanting me to help? Ha okay, so from an outside perspective, somebody who actually has experience with this, how, how would you judge things have been going? Well, the amusement park, uh, it's highly uh, possible to say that she just didn't like the noise, didn't, not so much uh, being around you with that. So I'd say you're fine there. Uh, I didn't really hear any issue with the eating out. And considering the fact that she even went on a date with you after the love song, I am assuming that that went, went over well. So, I, I don't really see where bad. there's an issue here. I have no idea what to do for a third date. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, what's around that area? Uh, maybe that will uh, help. I know there's a bowling bowling alley. There's an arcade. There's a restaurant. Um, the only thing I thought about is maybe taking a picnic lunch outside the city. God, I don't. Ah. Uh. But if she doesn't like noises, then bowling probably not a great idea. Uh, she's a brewer, so... Don't worry. Well, if she's a brewer, uh, how about seeing how much she likes pink... Uh, I'll say she likes beer pump. <laughs> Take her to a tavern and play beer pong? Might work. Although I've always been a lightweight when it comes to alcohol, so she'll probably have me drunk off my ass. <laughs> That's also not a bad thing, necessarily. I knew it was a good reason. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the idea, Dad. <laughs> well, to be fair, he did say technically she has to say yes on that. No. But yeah. But no, Byron knows it's 
more of an idea than anything, but yeah. He'll, uh, he'll, that's one idea. Uh, other than that... Does why um, even know what Deer Pong is? <laughs> let's do a history check to... Um... Okay, you have okay, a big dude. idea what it is? You assume it has something to do with uh, some type of, uh, of ball. You're not quite sure what. Uh, okay, so but uh, whatever it lands in, and you are supposed to dr drink it, uh, most shot shots wins. Okay, so yeah, why well, I was gonna. Okay, so explain to me exactly what beer pong is <laughs> to his dad. <laughs> so he actually has an idea of what this drinking game consists of. Because why is it. Okay, so I'm assuming it's this, this, and this. And then he'll. Let me tell him the roll rest of it. Uh, and see if he actually does have a ping pong ball on. Uh, He's a barn. Okay. Uh, so you take one of these balls as you take as he takes out a ping pong ball, uh, and you have uh, out you uh, sorry out in front of you uh, a certain number of glasses all filled with some type of drink, and the goal is to get this into uh, those little uh, glasses over there. Uh, most uh, most ping pong balls uh, scattered in wins. And this could really work because she's a follower of Dionysus. She can't really turn down a drink, and a competition of drink. I think she has to accept. <laughs> Um, this. I will also warn you that there's no guarantee that you will like like doing that. It just means uh, she, she would have to accept, set to do that then. True. So I should probably phrase this not as a challenge, more as an invitation to have some fun with this. Gotcha. Hmm. What do you think mom would say if I told her I'm dating? Well, I obviously she would probably want to meet the girl. What I was afraid of. Don't think we're ready for that yet. So could you... Do me a favor and not tell her. You do know that your mom has a way of getting things out of me, right? I, I, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear details. Just, just don't bring it up. And just try not to tell her. <laughs> Deal? There. Okay. Uh, any other plans you want me to go and run over with before you leave? Nope. Um, Bart is going to go and, uh, He's going to go find some of the the older journals, and he's going to kind of skim through them real quick, looking for any mention of the feel of the power that they had when they when they were using it, like some of the older ancestors. And you see if there's any chance at all that he comes across a mention of how to use the bloodline or anything like that. And he's going to spend like the rest of the day doing that. Before going back to Scarlet Bell. 
But to be fair, you could just transfer the books to a different one, and then take the new book. How long is that going to take, though? It would depend on how big the books are. I mean, they're basically like journals of a uh, of like the uh, there's ancestors journals, like different ancestors journals that left them to the uh, people. I would probably say that it would take it more about like. Uh, maybe five days. Five days. Mm. Yeah, he's got tired because she still got to do um her stuff because she got she has work. Yeah, yeah. Why well, don't take five days to transfer the books over so that way he has his uh, he has his ancestry and. While he's, tra while he's tra spending yeah. about 50 plat, or 500 gold, rather. 50 plat? Okay, so let's get down to... Yeah, more just for the ink and paper to go and actually transfer. Okay. Because uh, I assume that there's like about five journals or so. Yeah. Uh... But yeah, and while he's transferring them over, he's also skimming through them, like looking for anything like that. You see his sorted stories, but none particularly address saying how to awaken the bloodline. Just a lot more about a little bit of what you can do. Oh. So. Such as you meant, you see mentioned in some of the, them, the capability uh, after a long while of training, the ability to cast a 10th level spell. Oh. So did. I knew I read something about that someplace. Okay. So, yeah. But now Wyron has a copy of them all, so he can. Next time we see he might just give them to him. <laughs> or have M.A. just be, or just be like, Hey, M.A., uh, trace the release and see if you can't figure out anything. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, it would also probably be less time for M.A. to transfer them. <laughs> yeah, because he probably has spells that can do it. <laughs> Or well, slaves just much do more it. on terminology type stuff. Yeah. Um. I mean, do you forget? He could literally uh, just run here, or uh, from Sea Meat, which is like five towns over from where you guys are, or a yeah. normal seven day journey. Uh, Wyron's also going to cast uh during all five of those days, he's going to cast a simming spell to M.A. And with praying to Mishra to try and get get it to him. And each time it's going to be uh, at some point contact me so we can talk uh, over a mug of over something to drink. And that's all he's going to say. Is just, uh... If he if he gets a response when he gets a response he'll stop doing it but he'll he'll do it like all five days to try and get a response out of him. Okay, on the fourth day him. you go and hear so you see a message that says, "Why do you keep contacting me?" <laughs> I was just gonna start laughing at that one <laughs> and immediately immediately do it again. You don't you don't respond. I'd like to sit down and have a drink and discuss things. So, you get no reply to that, though. Next day, do it again. 
<laughs> okay, why are his play with fire here? <laughs> At the end of that one, on the fifth day, I'm going to keep doing this until you agree to sit to to sit down to have a sit down and have a drink with me. You can bring the alcohol. To that, he goes and replies, "You do realize I could easily kill you for doing stuff like this, right?" Cast yes, Sinead again. Yes, but you haven't. <laughs> the reply Which to that me... is, doesn't mean I won't. You've been warned. <laughs> Send it again. Come on, it's just a drink. How busy are you? You what go you and doing? see a one-word response that says, Barry. All right, fine. Yes, he stopped sending the sending messages. Well, no, he said one more. Fine. Just add me to the list of things of things of add me to the to add, piss me in for a later date. And then he'll stop. He goes and says, "So in five years, got it." Warren messages back says. Okay, what the hell has you been here five years? I'm very curious. Various things. Why well, is pretty product we're running, running, running up quite a mana tap here. Uh, again, mm, they call my my they call the my ancestor the Lady of Mysteries. You're piquing my interest very much. You're now a mystery I have to solve. He goes, did you actually send that as a message? Yes. He goes and says, so you're going to try to solve what what several people have already tried and failed to do it. Got it. I look forward to seeing and you give up, like most others. Yeah, he, uh, he does not know why. Why will... <laughs> Mark's gonna peck out this till the end, till he dies. <laughs> so yeah, fair, that's um, probably a, a where the few that did give up actually went and did. Yeah. So yeah, after he's got all the things down, uh, talking with his mom, catching up on things around the city and stuff like that, in between chopping, copying on the books and everything, he'll go back to Scarlet Vale, the copy of the books. Okay, what does he um, do in Scarlet Bay now? After the uh, hour it, back trip. Will this be on uh, one of her days off? Start no, on Monday. It would be more around um, like uh, towards the end of Friday. Ah, okay. So. Actually, no, it would be so, Saturday. It was about five days. Saturday. Yeah, it would probably be about Saturday because you went there at Sunday, did a little bit of stuff, and then started transferring, and it took about five days, so that would put it about Saturday. Okay, so it's Saturday. Wyron goes to uh, his first thing he does is go to her tavern, and uh, he's going to buy a. Uh, bottle of the of her wine that she sells that what she sells to the tavern how much does how that does cost? he ask for that how does he ask so whoever is at the bar right now uh, the bar right now he's going to go up and uh, ah shit how the hell okay so he he has no other way to do this He's going to ask uh, the whoever the bartender up there right now is uh, uh, if uh, he, that he knows that uh, Sora occasionally uh, sells wine through uh, through here, and he's looking to try it to try it. And okay, see you see a bird gonna... person behind the counter. Okay. Uh... Raven Folk or Eric Coker? Ravenfolk. Okay. Alright, so, yeah. Hello. 
Uh, uh, what may I get for you? Uh, the other uh, bartender that works here, Sora. I know that she occasionally sells uh, wine, some for wine through here. I'd like a glass of that. I forget if we have any of that in stock. Let me see. Let me go check the back. Uh, as he just kind of walks towards the back. Back. Uh. This. You feel that it takes uh, about like five minutes as before he comes back uh, and sa says, one flat. All right, you have one flat. Uh, all right. Which is, would Wire know if that's expensive for a bottle of wine or not? Raw. History? Oh, yeah. Or what? Mm. I'd say roll insight. Uh. Oof. You have no idea whether that's a good price for wine or not. Okay. Well, is this just for glass or is this for the bottle? It was for the bottle. Okay. So the wire takes it. Uh. Does it come with the glass or not? No, it does not come with the glass, but you have a bottle of wine for a plat. Yeah, don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I will say this. Yeah, well, metally, that's actually very cheap for a glass of, I'm sorry, for a bottle of wine. Hmm. So, Why would yeah. uh, the character does not know that? Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Wine is not a wine connoisseur or anything. He just knows buy liquor, get drunk. <laughs> Wine is going to ask, have a glass? And he uh, uncorks the bottle. He puts da down um, a glass. He puts down a bottle, oh, sorry, the glass of wine. Fills up the glass and wires you take a drink. Is it good wine? Uh, it is pretty good wine. Roll me a constitution save. Oh boy. Oh, it's the type of wine that gets you fucked up immediately. Okay. Uh, okay. Roll 213. Oh, yeah, right. so. Roll me another constitution save. That's a okay, you're on the ground now. Uh, and you come to about uh, ten hours later. Uh, as the rain fog uh, just looks down at you and says, You are a very big white lightweight, aren't you? Apparently. Okay. Where, so that, was that me down in the glass or just taking a sip? <laughs> that was you taking a sip and then you fell onto the ground. Where I put the cork back in that bottle. <laughs> looks at the looks at the wine bottle, puts it into the bag of holding, and. Uh, we look at the cup. Look at the glass that's still there after ten hours. Is, is is it still full after ten hours? Or somebody drank it. It still is pretty well full. Full. You're also still slightly tipsy. I don't know what she brews, but damn, that stuff's strong. Um. Yeah, she's. She brews very good stuff. Uh, now I just think that's about time for my shift to be uh, up, especially since you're down for about 10 hours. Yes. Um, I'm gonna go. Alright. Uh, uh, as he also says, 
Yo, second shift, you're up. Is that Sora? Uh, this is Sora's day. This is Sora's day off. Oh yeah. So yeah. So he, uh, Byron walks out, and uh. Okay, so he walks out and what? He walks out and uh, heads uh back to uh, wherever the heck he is. He's been staying. Probably about an it. In which, frankly, it probably was about uh, a Electrum a night. So, yeah. uh, I think at this point it would have been like about tw 24 pla I say for 24 Electrum at this point, at least. Mm -hmm. Because there's two weeks that you so, spent here, so that would yeah, be 14. So two, you spent another week, so that would be 21. And so, yeah, about 21 on uh, Electrum. Okay. Too far, everybody else would be on the hook for, like, uh, five more on that. Of twenty six plat. Mm. Oh, sorry, twenty six electrum. Okay. But yeah. Um. Yeah, Warren pays. Warren has that paid for and stuff. So yeah. Okay. I took the money out. All right. So um. Yeah. Yeah, um, shit. Gonna have to give that to some of the others. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm totally get, going to offer this, offer a, a drink to uh, Wretched and see what happens. <laughs> uh, that's evil! <laughs> And Hazio, <laughs> when I can get him in here. Okay, Hazio yeah, will be a lot, little bit less on that. I mean, yeah, Hazio has good constitution, doesn't he? But uh, considering my constitution modifier is one, yeah, I rolled shit. To be fair, that's about the same as Wretched, but Wretched has to drink it. I mean, yes. That's why I first offered to Hazio. Then I offered a Wretched. Because <laughs> Wretched, Wretched has to have a good reason not to not to drink. <laughs> it's not poisoned. It's just that good. <laughs> Actually, it was poisoned. It, what? That's how you became unconscious. Otherwise, you'd just been hammered. Okay. Um, do I currently have all my stuff on me? Yeah. So he just the uh, the raven folk just poisoned me for no reason. No, he had a reason. Um, okay, what do I have to roll to see if Wyron figures out that he's a poison? Would it be an intelligence check or. Do you think it would be more rolling insight? But. Why um, would be the a Wyron's form. in character or knowledge? Because he just drunk something and then instantly blacked out. So, to be fair, like you yeah. said, he probably yeah, just thinks that's the drink, not that it's poisoned. It's just that by meta, you know that was poisoned. Offer some to Mars, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put in my bag Sora's wine. <laughs> and, Sora's uh, poisoned yeah. wine. Oh, sorry, poisoned so Sora's wine, but yeah. 
Yeah. No, I'm just gonna say Sora's line because I don't know it's poison. Fair. Yeah. To be fair, you could easily just buy a bo another bottle when the when that bartender's not there. True. Um, or you know, talk to Sora and tell her I trust in your wine, and damn, was it? And then show her the bottle, and she'll probably be like, "This is poisoned." Which might actually happen. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, now what does Wyron do? Now that he's been poisoned. <laughs> and it's ten hours later, so it's probably about, about Sunday. And yes, he would have the benefits from the long rest due to that. Okay. So all my spells are back. All this stuff is done. So, yeah, it's just that he's a little bit tipsy. <laughs> yep. Um, Wyron is going to. Well, it's it's early Sunday, right? Yeah. Wyron is going to go to. Um, What's the name of that restaurant that she likes? That she took that we went to the first date? The Sweet Escape? The Sweet Escape. He's gonna go to the Sweet Escape and get uh Basically what I'm, I'm hoping to get there is like a big hamburger and fries. <laughs> is that offered? <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it was yeah. a company nation of essentially a fast food place which would have burgers and fries ice, and a regular restaurant which would have stuff like uh, well which would have a fancy atmosphere and stuff like that so it's a fas yeah. fancy -ish fast food place essentially yeah uh, so that also goes and serves sushi yeah why is gonna get a big burger and fries and have lunch and get some of this alcohol out of his system. <laughs> All right, and uh, that will be one poison. flat. All right. Uh, have you actually seen um, kind of like what the Whopper is, like from Burger King? Yes. You see, they plate one of those and then put and on a decent sized plate. The rest that is not that Whopper sized burger uh, is uh, essentially just fries. Alright. Uh, and they say, say, hope you enjoy your meal. Thank you. So Wyron just, Wyron is sitting there and he's eating the fries and, well, if there's ketchup on the table, he uses ketchup. But yeah, he's eating the fries and the burger and trying to come out of it and like get some food in his stomach. Alright, so by that point he's no longer tipsy. Yeah. Um, really wish he kind of had a Hazio here because it is kind of canon that uh, lay on hands could cure a hangover. <laughs> and instantly sober your ass up. <laughs> well, to be fair, I do hope that he tag comes in for next week because that will be fun. To be fair, yeah, I'll also have a message uh, in chat about like what the, it, that entails. Yeah, I kind of got a message from Wretched saying something about something. Oh yeah, there's gonna be things next week. Yeah, saying that you might try to kill us. <laughs> oh, it'll be slightly clear. Or uh, it's just much more on th that, especially since like, like it's just me and you here right now. I don't want yeah. the others to be like freaked out slash worried about something that they that I will have explained like right now after the session. 
And so anyway, let's continue. Uh, so what do you do after getting the burger? So it's about midday right now, right? It would be about oh, the to... point of lunch or just after. Yeah. So where so do you go Wyvern, now? Wyvern does not know where to find Sora at this point in time. So uh, Wyvern's going to go and... To be fair, he could visit some places, just see, like, uh, how they are. Yeah, so he's going to go and, uh, see what the bowling alley's like, and the arcade, and see if, like, how noisy and stuff like that are, they are compared to, like, how the, uh, the music park was, and, and see if, uh, they'd be good places for a date or not. Where do you check first? Uh, go with the bowling alley first. Alright. Uh, so, you enter the bowling alley, and you see these massive lanes, and with what appears to be, like, Six, I oh, sorry, ten objects right at the end, and and you estimate that could be like anywhere between um, like a uh, fifty, a hundred feet down from like this black line-ish type thing where people seem to be stopping, and the pins. You're not exactly sure on why, uh. But you do see people in various attires, as, such as some are in dresses, as some are in shorts, and just like, well, for the ladies it could be like dresses, as and like shorts, or it's with like some sort of top. Uh, the guys, uh, is, uh, is, some are in suits, some are just like. Like uh, in jeans and some sh sort of t-shirt. Uh, so you see all uh, types of people there of varying races. As, uh, as, uh, so what do you do now that you've actually entered there? Uh, you do also see like some sort of like receptionist type area. Uh. So Wyron's going to go up and uh, ask, uh, so what is the point of this game? Well, there's not much of a point. You just, well, one of the things that I've seen a lot of people do is just get anger out, out by throwing a ball down and hitting those things to get anger out. Uh, best score is a 300. <laughs> Is this to You're also talking to, to a female game. gift. Yeah. So would this be a good place to take a date? It one depends on whether or not that, that girl has anger issues, because if so, then she might enjoy it. Two, uh, it would depend on whether or not they like bowling, and if they actually don't have anger issues. Thank you for the information. And Warren's just going. Warren's just going to leave. So you don't check out about anybody there. I mean, does Warren recognize anybody there? Or I mean, the, there's various races. So like, one person does appear to be like blue. You assume that's a dragonborn, but you can't tell because they're on one of the further sides of the bowling alley. Uh, oh, why is it Dragonborn there? He's going to walk down that way and see if it's her. Uh, yeah, that's her. Uh, when you get... Well, when you go and 
get down to about that side. You can tell that it looks uh, nothing as pretty much like Sora. Uh, so there's a good chance that's her. Lyra is going to observe for a minute and see if see how she's doing. And then uh, kind of walk up and uh, say hello. Uh, hold on as I go and get something. Okay, so in the fifth frame, she has about a 59. Um, <laughs> and you do see what appears to be the name Sora uh, up there. There as you actually go there. And I forget, what did you actually say to her? Or were you just... Yes, yes, yes. I observe for, surf for, surf, observe for a little bit uh, to see if it's really her and uh, then walk up and say and say hello but she does have uh, a slight elegance and on the approach uh, which, uh, which is slightly off with with her but uh, well with regular Sora or the Sora that you know uh, but then again, it might just simply be a how it is for that game. Yeah. Um. Um. And so, what do you actually say to the person besides hello? I mean, once I'm close enough, do I recognize it as Sora? Is it the it looks Sora really I know? really similar to Sora, if nothing else. So chances are you're, you're, it's her. You're throwing up red flags here. I don't know if you're doing this on purpose or not. Like she has an identical twin sister or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I go up and say hi, Sora. Uh, hello. Uh, well, the person says hello, hello without turning around. Round, and um, you recognize it as uh, the voice pretty much as Sora's, as, as, and she also does as you're not right on the approach, right? Uh, so in other words, right behind me. No, no, I'm not. He's he's saying that back. Uh, it's she says uh replies oh good. Good, and then uh, proceeds to do her throw. Uh, uh, I will call right. it about Inside. 10. She gets a strike. Uh, for the 6th frame. Uh, right. I'm going to roll Insight to check and see if this actually is Sora. Uh, well, to be fair, she, has a, she t then turns to the guy and says, Oh, hello. Uh, I haven't seen you for okay. a couple of days. Is I was starting to wonder if something actually did happen, or if you just started to go, go and not want to be in the tavern for whatever reason. No, I went home to done to went to your family family Dunwich for a few days, and uh, I'm cop copying some uh, my ancestors' journals. Ah, I think they might have some more uh, in. in I think they might have some knowledge for me. Also, might pass them on to a friend of mine, see if he can get anything out of them. I was actually here to see if this would be a good place to come for a date. And lo and behold, I see, I find you. Uh, well, to be fair, I do like doing the, this and nothing else. Uh, I mean, who can really go and fault, fault something that really helps taking out your anger? Er, uh, er, uh, and I'm going to, uh, oh sorry, uh, though she also says, 
Though I also do uh, normally a lot better than this. I wouldn't know if that's good or bad. I've never bowled before. Well, you just have to take a look at that and then consider that the best score is 300. And because I have I've only bowled in real life once. <laughs> uh, so, 59, yeah, like, Gao, Tank Lee, 69. All right. I just realized that Tank Lee, by giving her strike, she's at 69 right now in the six. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so she's Tank Lee at oh. 69. So she says, as 59 in the fifth, 69 in the sixth, Tank Lee. A, that would put you uh, technically on track for like maybe a 150 a, which is decent so especially for awesome. pros but you are more striving for a 300 or uh, at least a 200 okay that makes more sense What, because numbers, Warren well, understands. Other things, like the, the actual like, physical parts of it, not so much. But yeah, numbers, he can, he starts calculating that his head. Okay, I understand. Your score's not bad. With the uh, amount of frames you have left. What did he just ask? But, uh,. I mean, uh, how many frames would she have left before, because she's, because that was her sixth frame, and isn't it like ten? I can't She would remember. have four frames le left, and then she would have up to three balls in the tenth. Okay. Are we All actually right. going to be doing bolting now? Not this time. It's a little. Uh, oh God. Actually, they would have time because she doesn't have to go to service till like eight. Still mid around midday. Oh God. Uh. <laughs> there. Uh, I am not sitting through this and rolling just for, just for this. So. If Wyron were to ask her to teach him after after she's done with the first done with her set, would she go for? I am good to assume that the question is, is would she go for it if he was if uh, Wyron asked to go and teach her after, oh, sorry to teach him after her set. Well. Technically, a it would be after her game because like, uh, in bo in bowling we don't call it a set. But am I correct to assume that it was like teach you teach her uh, uh, sorry to teach Wyron after the uh after the game would she actually say yes? Yeah. Uh. She probably wouldn't mind and. He would just need to do a house ball and also to pay uh, up front the game because that's what she's been doing. Why don't I go pay for it? Um, would he pay for both uh, yeah. or just uh, as his? Yes. Yeah. He pay for his and Sora's next game. Alright. Where are they? And uh, why would uh, let her teach him? And see how Wyron does. So, what would it cost him? It would uh, cost him about two gold. Done. Uh, and they would also go in and ask him on what is his size? I have no idea. First time bowling. Uh, what size are you talking about? 
How do you not know what shoe size you are? I didn't know you were talking about shoe size. Uh, yeah, I bowling requires shoes. special shoes. Well, yeah, but Byron doesn't know that. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, to be fair, Byron, you, actually, no, you probably would have seen Sora in the different shoes, though. Wyron is not gonna. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna do an intelligence check, and if he gets over ten, Wyron notices the shoes. Otherwise, he's just been staring at her face and trying to stare stare at uh, other bits. No, I figured okay. you would have seen it just as you were, or trying to figure out whether or not that was Sora. I mean, Wyron doesn't really look want to look at her feet. <laughs> So he's not uh, foot so, fetishes. Okay. Got it. <laughs> nope. I'm not playing that. No. <laughs> Although if you had a table for it, I would roll on it just to see, just to see. But really hope he didn't. He didn't wind up with that one. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Okay. So you saw the shoes. Uh, if you, people okay. want me to, I could roll up of a fetish table. Well, I could make up. If that is stable. I mean, it's just that I'm not gonna make fun on it if people are not wanting to roll on it. I will see what Wretched and Hazio have to say. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Um, no. So yeah, Wyron tells us whatever shoe size he has. I don't know what he has. Uh. uh but yeah, so, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's whatever, because even I don't know what a shoe si size would be for D D characters. Yeah. There's, it's just that's something you would need for a bowling. Um, yeah. Um, right. So yeah, uh, right, I'm not gonna sit here. We're not gonna sit here and play through a whole thing. Uh, yeah, just roll essentially like three D one hundred. 3D100? Okay. Move my character sheet over. Okay, that's, that's, that's not bad for a beginner. Uh, as it was technically... If you're wanting to go for a competition thing, and Sora beat a Wyrin 130, I'll say 173 to 104. Yeah, Warren was mostly just studying that for fun. Yeah, that's actually pretty pretty fun. Um, About halfway through, you started envisioning uh, the pins as uh, some of those those mercenaries that he was beating the crap out of. <laughs> To be fair, that's where uh, when I was mad at people, that's pretty much what I did when I was bullied. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I have to admit, I was very tempted to just fire a firebolt down there and, and cheat. <laughs> Please don't, because I would rather not I get know. kicked out of there. I know, I know. There's just a uh, little impulse, especially when those two, sp those, I got that seven, what you call the seven tin split. Really just wanted to fire a fireball at one of those. <laughs> well, to be fair, it is possible. It's just very hard. I mean, I can kind of see how it would, but, eh. Uh. That would be that is incredibly difficult. Uh, some people actually view the rotten orange as harder than that, though. Did I get a rotten? I don't think I did. What is a rotten orange? <laughs> you just take what you uh, were talking about and add the pipe in there. Ooh, that would be. Don't see how that's possible. <laughs> well, it's possible. You can just go and hit the five into one, 
one and hope that the ball uh, just continues and hits the other. So it's possible, it's just like the 710, it's, uh, it's actually pretty hard. Um, Um, so, where does wiring go now? Oh, right. No, never well, mind. Can... He just go. Yeah. Okay. I think he goes to the service again. Oh, yes. I mean, it's where Sora's going to go, and he is going to follow. Because I might as well, he might as well. I mean, it's not going to be his main religion, but he'll, he'll. He'll do the following of uh, Dionysus a little bit, just because. Yeah, I mean it's a shared religion with her. He, he likes her. All right, and for reference, there is a belt. Uh, there's about ten days left before, for, our uh, Mara and. And uh, Connor return. Right. I think we're gonna, that's going to call the session for the for the night, though. All right. Uh. Then, um, do you want me to stay it now so that people have the reference point on the recording, or do you want me to just end, end so I can slightly start talking to you about it, or at least seeing where you want to stand on it? Um, stand on the what happens next week or what? Yeah, because I do have something special planned for next week. Uh, well, let's we'll just keep it secret from the recording then. <laughs> well, to be fair, it will probably be up before the recording. Yeah. So, yeah.